Uh, hello to all at Over Unity. Uh, now, as you know, the recent topic has been uh, coil shorting and uh, T1000 uh, suggesting that uh, the harvest from uh, shorting the coil just at the peak could be uh, many times higher than uh, uh, at standard peak value. Uh, well, what we've got here is a, a little um, a Bedini style reaction motor, uh, very simple, uh, 114 ohm automotive relay uh, pulsed uh, by 24 volts, triggered with a small uh, glass uh, reed switch. Um, and as you can see, it's uh, fairly motoring. Uh, waveform on the scope is from the pickup coil on that side. And uh, through a standard bridge rectifier, um, it's not even a high speed bridge rectifier, it's just an ordinary one. And as you can see at the moment, um, peak voltage is 13.2 volts DC. Um, and we're pretty stable in um, RPM. I uh, I ran the thing up prior to it takes such a long time to run up to speed, so I thought best just get it going. And uh, so I, I don't like editing videos for obvious reasons. Uh, anyway, uh, demonstrating the coil shorting, I've got um, another little reed switch here, uh, which, as you can see, is actually directly across the. Out, uh, the coil on the output side, um, also 114 ohms, and uh, I'm now going to bring this into play and just watch what happens to the voltmeter uh, as we try and find the. I'm just trying to watching the scope now to see if I can find. Look at that, 181. I'm just trying to find the peak of the. There we go. It went into overload then for. Um, coming out again, and as you can see, we drop back to um, that's the standard voltage, as you can see. Going back again, and you probably notice on the scope, you can see where as you uh, Position the switch. So you try and just clip the top of the sine wave coming up now. Uh, should be. There we are. Overload over two hundred volts. As you can see, it's having a bit of an effect on the motor. She's slowing down, but uh, isn't that incredible? Um, coming away again. We are over 200 volts for a split second and out. And uh, I've used a small capacitor because uh, obviously you can see the charge. Um, I was astonished. I've got a 2,100 microfarad capacitor before, and yes, it was uh, bringing the voltage up to almost 50 volts uh, over a fairly long period of time. But in exchanging the uh, large value capacitor for a much smaller value. Um, allows it to charge quicker, obviously. Um, I was absolutely astonished at the, uh, at the output volts. Um, so, just proves that uh, what uh, T1000 was saying is absolutely spot on. The uh, thing is, how can we harvest it? Cheers for watching.